seven years later, when I was fired from the Tampa Bay Bucks, I did not know if I would ever play in the NFL again. And quickly speaking through this story, uh, I was uh, asked to go play in the UFL, which is like a semi-pro league. At the time, I was under a $3 million contract with the Bucks fired at the time. And they wanted me to go play in the UFL, which would probably pay me about $300 a week. And my pride got in the way, so about seven weeks, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. And then conviction hit. My mother gives me a passage, and the passage read, Have faith, my son, I'm going to open doors, but you have to have the courage to walk through the door. Amen. And just as I read that passage, my agent called me and said, I really want to tell you about this opportunity in the UFL. And I, the conviction that I felt at that moment, I knew that I had to go. Even everything that was in me did not want to go. Yeah. People talked about me. They said I had money problems. Why would he go play in that league? I was a first round draft pick. How dare I show my face in a, a semi-pro league? What would my friends say? What would my fans say? This was the things that I was dealing with. But the conviction, uh, and God thank my mother for waking me up uh, and giving me a piece of humble pie. The next day I was in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, when I got off the plane, I got the notion of being a leader amongst men that you don't know. And that's what I set out to do for one month in the UFL. At the end of that one month, Every guy on that team knew that I was a leader, and every coach came to me and said, if anybody makes it back to the NFL, you're going back. We practiced at a community center, potholes, ant piles, trash everywhere. <laughs> and the reality was there was a lot of guys who were content with their situation. They were okay with that $300 a week, and I wasn't. I didn't complain about my surroundings. I just wanted to be great every day. The same things that I was taught through sports at LSU. And now I was utilizing those things in an unfamiliar territory in the UFL. A month later, the New York Giants called me and they said, we want to give you an opportunity to come work out for us. And at that time I had one game left and I told the New York Giants, uh, I have to finish what I start. I have one more game left, and if the opportunity presents itself, you know, I'll, I'll gladly come. Now, the only reason why I went to the UFL was to get back into the NFL, to use it as a, a platform. And now I was faced with conviction again to finish what I start. And I tell young men all the time, stand for something or you'll fall for anything. When I had the opportunity to stand boldly and finish what I started, I didn't know what I was creating. <coughs> At the time, the Giants had a receiver, uh, Akeem Nix, uh, and Victor Cruz, uh, and Dominique Hickson. Uh, one of the guys got hurt.